Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Thatcher. I'm with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. Behind me here is George from Colorado's new M1123. We've gone through, George actually bought this truck. It was originally a Gov Planet truck, came out of Barstow, California. We shipped it here for George um, and did a bunch of upgrades and accessories. This thing started its life. It had no top, no doors, no windshield glass, no tailgate. Uh, we brought this truck completely back to life. And overall, we're going to show you some of the features today on the vehicle, some of the accessories that we've added. Just turned out amazing. Uh, very proud of this particular truck. Starting off, as you can see, the whole exterior of the vehicle has been completely sanded down and repainted. Uh, it's repainted a Ford Performance White is considered the color. It's got heated LED truck light headlights. George being in Colorado, the heated LED headlights are far superior than the standard LED headlights. Unlike an incandescent bulb, they don't put off as much heat. That's the idea behind the heat element in it. We've got truck light LEDs all the way around on this whole vehicle, tail lights, turn signal lights, marker lights. We've added new reflectors. On the sides of the truck, you can see we've added our fender flare kit. Uh, we've installed all stainless steel hardware mounting the fender flare kit onto the vehicle itself. We had to modify it because this has actually got our Baja tube rock sliders. Uh, these go completely underneath the lower body pan of the truck along with giving you side protection along with a great step where you can stand on the side of the truck. Getting in and out of the truck, everything else very sturdy. Uh, we've added our light bar mount, new mirrors, our eighth inch aluminum hard top kit along with our quarter inch aluminum hard doors. Uh, as you can see, we've added our tubular uh, light bar mount with a 52 inch straight light bar. Uh, with that, we had to put a short snorkel on it just because of the height clearance with the way the light bar works out, but we did add that deep water forwarding intake. Uh, on the front of the vehicle, we've got a Warren synthetic winch. Uh, it's got our MME low profile front winch bumper. We've also got our front license plate flip up bracket that is uninluminated. Uh, makes for a nice feature on the front of the truck. If you've got to have a license plate, you want to have a winch. Uh, this is a product that we sell separate from our bumpers. If you have a bumper already on your truck and want to add something like that, we can do so. Uh, something else too I wanted to point out is on top of our winch, we do have a lockable access hole in order to engage and disengage the winch. Going over here, you can see we've got our antenna mounted for our stereo. We'll go over the inside of the vehicle here shortly. We've got our side view cameras and our rear facing camera on the rear of the vehicle. This is actually a new product for us here. This is our new roof rack. We build these in-house. All the accessories that you see on this truck, the rock sliders, the bumpers, the roof rack, the Baja rack, the doors, the top, those are all built here in our facility in Washington, Missouri. We don't outsource anything when it comes to that, uh, which with that, we're able to provide some of the best quality. It's all made here at our facility in Washington, Missouri, assembled here, and actually powder coated down the street by a local small business. Um, but this roof rack, it's got aluminum slats in it, so it keeps it lightweight. You're able to tie different things down to it. Also, when utilizing the Baja rack, if you wanted to stand on the outside of the truck for a short distance, you could do so. Don't necessarily recommend that. Uh, going on to the Baja rack, we've actually, George did not want to put a spare tire up here. He wanted usable space. So as you can see here, all of our Baja racks come standard with a dimple dyed floor over the fender liners, uh, all made out of inch and a half DOM tube. Everything's all welded together. This is actually CNC cut. We have a five axis CNC tube cutter, so everything fits together really nice. That's why you can see the weld quality is what it is. But originally our Baja rack, uh, when we initially started offering, they had a spare tire mount. We've actually done that same dimple dyed uh, metal sheet here that's out of a 10 gauge steel. So you can tie your cooler down, tie a gun route, do whatever you want. George's truck also got a spray and bed liner, as you can see there. Uh, we added, George wanted to add the Humvee sticker on the back of the truck, we added that. Uh, we've put all these stainless steel hardware and everything. This is our rear front winch, or rear winch bumper. Uh, we've actually got a filler plate in here currently uh, where we've got our license plate light wire running. But if George ever wanted to add a winch, he could simply pull this bumper off, slide a winch in it, and he's ready to go with a winch. It's got a two inch receiver hitch, standard military connector. You can see our rear view camera there. Uh, on the wheel, we didn't really discuss the wheels and tires yet, but we, George, we put a 37-1250 Dirt Commander MT tire on. It's an, actually an iodized fuel wheel. Uh, it's originally black and mill, and then they do the blue iodizing on it. Turned out really awesome. Going on to the interior of the vehicle, uh, we've added our new black vinyl seats along with our bench seat. Uh, you can see the insides of our doors. Everything's color matched. All new seat belts. Just turned out really, really nice overall. You can see the finish. Love the white to the black with a little bit of aluminum and stainless. We've added our heat and AC system to this as well. So this is our upgraded heat and air system. Uh, it allows you, 
unlike a lot of systems out on the market, you know, the original red dot military systems where they have the bulky condenser fans on the back of the cab. This is all under the hood, very clean overall fit and finish. That's a powder coated part as well. The doors, obviously, unlike the factory soft doors, or in George's case, no doors. These seal up a lot better for him. Should really enjoy those. We can go over to the other side. We'll go ahead and talk about the steering wheel. We've added a Momo Racing steering wheel along with the steering wheel hub adapter uh, to be able to make that work on this vehicle. We've added our new LED gauge lights to this truck. And then you can see the rear view monitor for the camera. Just overall turned out awesome. Uh, marine carpet, I forgot to touch on that. All marine carpet kit, sound ending insulation on the inside. Just overall, one sick looking truck. Can't wait to hear George's feedback. Uh, it's actually gonna be leaving out. We're hauling it out on our own truck. We do do truck transportation. Uh, so if you've got a truck that you need to move somewhere, we run our own trucks over the road. So feel free to reach out to us about that. If you wanna check out more awesome products and uh, things that you see in this video on this build, if you've got a Humvee for yourself and you're saying, man, I'd really like to have that. All those are listed up on our website. We're gonna be adding the roof racks here shortly as it's a very cool accessory. They work great with our hard top kit, uh, the way the lines work on this truck. So uh, please, subscribe and like our video and make sure to follow us on all social media platforms you can reach us by phone at 636-900-9046 or you can reach us online at midwestmilitaryequipment.com thanks for watching